Let's go. Are you as excited as I am? I am. Yeah? <laughs> oh, man. I played so much pod back then. If Carl from seven years ago could see Carl now. Oh, it's, it's probably just like regular FNM. <laughs> 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 this is never. But, uh. Welcome to the Card Market Feature Match, the last bastion of paper magic. Today, we've grabbed nostalgic decklist from the golden age of modern Pro Tour Born of the Gods, Splinter Twin as piloted by Ansi Accio against Jacob Wilson's Malara Pod deck from the semi-finals of the Pro Tour. It's gonna be a spicy one. Let's see if we can rewrite history. Today, we're playing Retro Modern. Now, back in the day, Splinter Twin was the modern deck. You thought of modern, you knew Splinter Twin was is gonna be represented somewhere. The whole deck centers around a combo that involves either Pestermite or Deceiver Exarch. Both of them can untap themselves when they enter the battlefield. Now, that doesn't seem very useful, you say? Maybe, but uh, when you put a Splinter Twin on any of those creatures, they can tap, creating a copy, which untaps the original, untap, tap, trading infinitely many copies, and then all those copies can swing at your opponent. So that's what I'm trying to do. The rest of the deck is basically the best blue-red interactive spell that Modern had back then. You didn't get to play with like Fury, Force of Negation, Counter Spell, no, none of that. You played Lightning Bolt, Remand, Electrolyze, Cryptic Command, and then when you had more mana available, you flash those back with Snapcaster Mage. So this game is gonna be really interesting because we're playing a combo deck against a combo deck. And what usually happens in that case is nothing. We just beat each other down for two while both of us hold up removal to try to counter the other one's combo. Luckily for me, in this situation, the Malara Pod deck is not just a combo deck. It's a creature toolbox deck. What that means is I tutor up things. Most of the time, I'm trying to assemble the combo of Malara Sleevok Outcast, a Sacrifice Outlet, and either Kitchen Finks or Murderous Red Cat. Luckily, against Yamin, I have more combos because some of my cards just shut down his deck. If I tutor up a Linvala Keeper of Secrets, for example, it just shuts down his whole game plan. He has to get rid of that before. Same thing for Spell Skite. So I'll just be tutoring up my curve, trying to assemble a combo, but mostly we'll just beat him down and try to get our hate cards. Let's go. So, so you've got an advantage because you actually played pawn back then, and yes. I just played bad decks. <laughs> yes. Would you like to high roll before drawing those Absolutely. seven cards? Absolutely. It's a bad start. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, a not that better much start. more, yeah. I wouldn't want to spend one of my good rolls on beating your really bad one. Mm. This hand looks perfect for comboing. I've got the Deceiver Exarch, I've got the Splinter Twin, I've got Spell Skite to back it all up on curve, and I've got the Serum Visions to find me my final lands needed. I'll keep this. This is classic Splinter Twin. Yeah, I mean, am I supposed to know what you're playing? Yeah, I'm supposed to know what you're playing, right? Yeah. Okay. My hand does no pod stuff. But luckily, Yamin won't be doing any Splinter Twin stuff either because all I have is two uncounterable removal and a Lanvala. Carl, are you ready for a card you haven't seen in months? That's what I'm here for, Yamin. Island. Oh, <laughs> no. it's even a new island. <laughs> Actually, Serum Vision. Very good, yes. Have, when have you last resolved the Serum Vision? You just do not play that card yeah. anymore. If so you play Serum Vision, you are sure. Um, I will keep both of those cards on top. Go ahead. So you keep them both on top, that's pretty good. See, it's one of the things, if this was opt, you could potentially keep up a bolt for my bird. Well, yeah. also you need a mana. I'll play a Birds of Paradise and pass the turn to you. Carl, it's a good thing that I kept this card on top because I'm gonna is it farm that bird. Ah, uh, that was very good. Nobody likes having birds around, it's your turn. It's gone. I'll draw, I'll take things off. I'll play a Verdant Catacomb and pass the turn. Sounds good to me. I'll untap, I'll take my draw. I'll play a Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. I will fetch. I think I'll take that opportunity and fetch too because I don't know if you're playing like Avon Mindsets or <laughs> something. I could be in this deck. What are you getting? Uh, I'm getting an island. I'll get a tapped Overgrown Tomb. May I go ahead? Sure. All right. So we have a lot of disruption right now, but not a lot of pressure. And normally you'd be tempted to just try to curve out your creatures to try to get in, but we're always gonna be keeping two mana up this game. We have the tools necessary to prevent Yamin from winning. Let's make sure we can use them once the time comes. So I'll take the last opportunity I have to play this Razor Ridge Thicket untapped. Yeah. And pass the turn to you. 
past the turn, eh? Yeah, and pod deck, not playing creatures. What is going on? Given that Carl has capped up mana, I'm not gonna go for the Deceiver Exarch here because if I lose that, it's my only creature in hand and I'll have to dig for another one. Uh, so I'm gonna try to set up a more stable board state with Spell's Guide keeping up remand next turn, most likely. Uh, you know what, Carl? I'll just... Take your turn. Yeah. Nothing happened. You know, it's so suspicious, like when on, <laughs> on, on Magic Online or something, like you pass the turn, your opponent's like doing nothing. So they could either be in the kitchen preparing their meal <laughs> or, or they're, they're thinking really <laughs> hard. Yeah, they're in the tank. <laughs> I'll take my draw. I'll play an untapped Steven. Oh, wow. Making a statement. Down to 17. I could cast Splinter Twin right now. Uh, do, please, uh, you I don't have a target. I don't have a target. I will tap my two islands. <gasps> For two Serum Visions. No, much better. You're playing Spell Sky? Spell Sky. Wow. Go ahead. Welcome to Golden Age of Modern. We did nothing. He played a zero for <laughs> turn four. <laughs> Took two to do it. I'll draw for turn. Such a good time. Yeah, I mean, uh, Speaking of crazy days of Modern, I'll play this Mysterian first. Sure. I'll pay two. And play my very own <laughs> Spell Sky. <laughs> Ah, uh, that one kind of sucks. Uh, I will have to remand it. Yep. Casting remand. Oh, this feels so good. I get you the draw card. You even get the draw card. It goes back in my hand. I can either leave up Abrupt Decay right now or put down my Spell Sky. And I don't think he can combo off if I have a Spell Sky on the board and he untapped. But mostly, if I leave up Abrupt Decay, it telecasts that I have an Abrupt Decay and he can play around it, which is really bad because my hand is only Abrupt Decays. So I'll fetch. Down to 18. Down to 18. I'll just get a basic force, and you saw it coming. I, I I'm gonna run it back again. All right. I'll play with my spell sky. Sure. I'll pass it turn to you. All right. I will untap and take my draw. Carl's spell sky puts a stop to my combo plan at least for now. Uh, I will get rid of it in the long run, right? Between blocking lightning bolts and electrolyze, I, I can't imagine it staying on the battlefield forever. But for now, that kind of Quick combo game plan, um, it's, it's out of the window. I'm gonna head to attacks. <laughs> you may. Uh, I won't. <laughs> oh no, no, not even taking the risk. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw. I'll play a Misty Rainforest. I'm gonna take two life. No, I'm not activating my spell sky. I will play a bird. Taking I can two. I heard this is a good card. <laughs> um, 16 and Given that this is a good card, I will have to remand it. <laughs> Not good enough for an actual counter spell. <laughs> Going back to my hand. Uh, yes, that happens. Draw a card off remand. Pass the turn to you. All right. Just fair magic turn. <laughs> yeah. Two walls tearing <laughs> each other down. Hmm. You know what? Go ahead, Carl. I don't mind. This is great content. I'm going to fetch with my Misty Rainforest. Going down to 15. Getting a tapped Godless Shrine. And I'll untap for my turn. All right. I'm going to pay four. Hope you don't have a third remand. Mm. I'm going to play a... I'm not playing Birthing Pot. I'm just playing anti-Splendor Twin right now because I'll play a Linvala Keeper Ooh, of Secrets. That's, that's a good one. It is. This Linvala itself isn't that threatening, but I do want to remand it using the Snapcaster Mage because one, this, you know, is mana efficient because Carl spent four mana on that Linvala. And two, getting a Snapcaster Mage on the board is very good because it either threatens to get rid of the spell Guide if Carl blocks, or it threatens Carl's life total, which might actually be a potent angle of attack going forward, since right now he's got a lot of hate against my combo. Carl, my supply of remands. <laughs> it's endless. It's endless. I will flash in a Snapcaster Mage, okay. target the remand, remand the Linvala. <laughs> Linvala goes back to my hand. I'll draw an additional card. And I'll take two off this temple card. All right, down to 13. Yep. Uh, it'll be your turn. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. I'll head into the red zone. 13 is a pretty precarious life total. I'll block. All right. Okay. That's my money. Now, Carl, we've talked about Serum Visions as a card that we really haven't seen too much of recently. This one. Oh. Similar. Is it worse? It's electrolytes. <laughs> it is! Now, paying three mana for two for one might seem 
outdated or something, but right now it feels it's real good. Clearing your board. Yep. Two damage to your spell. This deck. is gone. And you draw a card? I draw a card. It's a true two for one. In addition to this, I need to keep up a man. I'll play a Scalding Tarn. <laughs> Well, Go ahead. I've got bad news for you. Your remands are no good here. I'm gonna abrupt decay your spell sky. I could redirect it to the spell sky. Which would be bold. I won't. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Given my previous line of play, playing around the Avon Mind Sensor, I'm gonna do that again. That's, cool. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Yeah, I can respond to a fetch. Down to 16. I'll get myself an island. Very good. Now it's your turn. I'll untap. I'll drop. I will play a basic swamp. All right. And then I'm just showing you all the cards in my hand. Every turn I just reveal a new card. I'm gonna attempt to hard cast a reveal arc. Uh, unfortunately, that resolves. Ooh, neato. I'll pass it to you. Take my draw. Let's see if it's something good. Feel free to bolt my reveal arc. I, I won't. I won't. Uh, instead. I'll main phase and phase the Seeker X. Ooh, main phase. Yeah. Tap that. All right. Hit you for two. I think tap that is also a song. <laughs> <laughs> down to 11, and I will go down to 14. 14. Go ahead. The beats are on, I see. I'll untap. I'll draw. Well, you know what they say about the beats, so I'll get in with that reveal arc. Sure thing. Down ten. to 10. And then I'm going to play the card you're not expecting. But, you know, the beats. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to cast a Kitchen Finx. Ooh. Yeah, that resolves. All right, I'll gain two. Up to 13. And the turn is gonna be yours. The turn is mine, eh? Yep. I think my board is good enough as it is. I'll cast Lightning Bolts for targeting you. Uh, me? Yeah. I'm at 10. 10. And I guess I'll fire off the second one as well. Wow, making a statement seven is a pretty precarious life total. Uh, and then I'll head into my turn. Drawing a card. Yes. Hmm. That's not a great one. Is it another Serum Visions? Electrolyze. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get that much better, so... Four? You have four drops in your deck? Oh, you have a five drop. I, I it's have, a famous one. I, I have a very famous four drop in my deck. Um, oh, I'll yeah, try to cast Splinter Twin targeting my Exarch. All right, I will respond to that. I've been drawing a lot of cards in multiples because I'm going to ah, cast Abrupt Decay targeting yeah. your Deceiver Exarch. That is unfortunate. You, ha you had to shoot your shot. If I didn't have it, I'd be dead. And I guess I'll have to attack with that Snapcaster Mage. Is this a game of going down to five? Nah, I've given up on my... I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna offer the trade. All right, all right. I gain an extra two life. Yeah, up to nine you go. All on top. Draw. I'll declare tax. Sure. Down the red four. Zone. Attempt to cast this Linvala. Yeah, that rules. No oh. worries. <laughs> Not a big deal. And then let's just buffer my life total a little bit. Now that Linvala, I'm cozy. She's holding me in her arms. Yeah, she is. I'm gonna play uh, kitchen things again. I'll more things. More things. Pass the turn to you. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. I'll play an island and go ahead. Oh, cryptic command is still a possibility. I'll take my draw. I'll declare attacks. Unfortunately, yes. No cryptic command. Pass my window. I'll attack with everything. I won't block. You will lose the game. That is game one. <laughs> For sideboarding, I've got a bunch of stuff to bring in. Flame Slash is great against both Spellskite and Linvala. Threads of Disloyalty is great against stuff like Spellskite, Mana Dorks, uh, Kasali Pride Mages. There's, there's a bunch of stuff going on there. Blood Moons are awesome as long as Carl doesn't have any Mana Dorks on the field, which I hopefully can get rid of with Electrolyzes. Grim Lava Mancer just Rex havoc on Carl's board because most of his creatures don't survive the ability. And then last but not least, Batter Skull is a surprisingly good late game option against Carl. I'll shove some cards here and there to make room for all these sideboard cards. For example, some lightning bolts can go on the play because, you know, I've, I've got access to more mana to deal with stuff. Vendelian Click really isn't what I want to be doing because Carl can also be playing at instant speed with like Court of Calling and stuff. Uh, so yeah. 
I, I feel pretty good about game two. So I'm sorry for everyone who wanted to see a Malara combo go. I mean, it's half the name of the deck, uh, but we'll side out almost all the combo because against a deck with a lot of removal, it's not very good to try to assemble a three piece combo with things that die to electrolyze. So we're taking out Malara. We're taking out the Ceres here. And while we're at it, we're taking out one pod. We're also gonna take out two cards that are not particularly good in the matchup. Scavenging Ooze, great, but not really against Yamin. It, oh, it's, it's okay against Snapcaster Mage, but if he doesn't have one, it's pretty dead. We're also taking out Shriek Maw. It's great to Court of Calling, but it's a lot of mana to Court of Calling, and it's a little too slow for what we're trying to do. Now, what we're bringing in is a lot of disruption. We're bringing in Thoughtseize, two only, not the whole thing, because we do want to disrupt his hand and prevent him from comboing and especially know what's going on, but we don't need to do it as much as we need to be proactive and I don't want to take out a lot of the creatures because I'm putting in more removal even. Two pop to exile are coming in because they're pretty cheap and they get rid of most of his creatures for one mana. And two slaughter pack, which I can tap out for my creatures all the time if I want. If I have slaughter pack in hand, I have insurance. Would you like to take the play? I, I would. I, would. I think, I think, you know, even though I lost the first game, I feel like it is an advantageous position. It seems like a solid game plan. Good luck, good luck. You as well. It's quite unfortunate that I don't have that much efficient removal right now. It's going to be a bit awkward. Um, I will keep this. This hand is a game plan in itself. Just having Voice of Resurgence on the board generally generates value against Yaman, especially against his counter spells. And I have two pieces of disruption. The Quetali Pride Mage, a disruption for his enchantment. The Path to Exile, a disruption for the creature he's putting the enchantment on. This hand is phenomenal against you. I mean, I'll, then I'll keep, keep it. Yeah, I will. Thank you. All right. I'm going to take the play and play an island to cast another ceremony. Oh, wow. Treated me well game one. Hopefully, it's going to treat me well in game two. Yeah, I guess I'll keep one on top and one on the bottom. And it's your turn. All right. Um, well, it feels a lot like last game. I'll just play a, a Noble Hero. I'll pass it into you. Though so that, if, like... If you flip over an Is that <laughs> This border treatment? Nah, we didn't have nah, any yeah, of that. We didn't have that back then. Yeah, no. If we were lucky, we had a foil. Yeah. Or unlucky because of those Benny. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just play a Soul for Fault and okay. pass the turn. No, is it Charm this time? No, is it Charm? Wow. I will. This is my favorite. This is my best friend. I'll play the only Selesnya card I've ever liked, Voice of Resurgence. Oh, that's... Uh, Voice of Resurgence is a pain. It, oh, it's so bad. I'll have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's back in my hand. And then I'll just play Razor Bridge Ticket. All Pass right. You. I'll untap. Uh, take my draw. I'll play Sulfur Falls. And I will... Electrolyze you and the Noble Herrick. I think I have to do that. All right, I go to 19. You do. And you I get to draw a card. I do. Go ahead. I'll, I'll draw. The game plan is currently the same as last turn. I have this path to exile. We'll make sure that until there's a turn where you can both do Splinter Twin and a counter spell, we'll always be keeping that one mana out. I will... The coast is safe. Yeah, it is. Ha! Remad now. No solitude. No subtlety. <laughs> I'll play a Miss Rainforest and pass it into Hold on tap. I'll play an untapped Steam Vents. So I'm taking two. Are you finally going to cast uh, Splinter Twin on it, my voice yes, reserve? Yes, that sounds like a great plan. No, I'll just pass the turn. Ooh. Ominous. I'm going to fetch. Down to 18. Yeah, I'll just be taking one. Because I'll go get an Overgrown Tomb. Sure. And I'll draw. Yep. If Voice of Resurgence attacks, I can just flash and Snapcaster and target the Remand. Trade for the voice, you know, yes, there will be multiple tokens, but what can I do? Having the remand with flashback in the graveyard is great because either I get to use it, which, well, it delays Carl, right? Whatever he casts. If Carl doesn't cast anything, then that's a free turn. That's like a time walk, right? Like it's not actually a time walk, but either way, I feel like I get a good deal here. I'll declare my attacks. Sure. I'll attack for two. I'll cast the Snapcaster Mage. You do know I the do. text on Versus of Surgeon. Yeah. Okay. So you do know that I get an elemental token. I do. Wow. And you do it anyways. I'm doing it anyways. I assume it resolves. It does. In that case, I'll target Remand. You may target Remand. It's targeted. Would you like to go to blocks? Yes. Block. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I get another elemental token. Yeah. Good job. You did it. I did it. Um, they'll be huge now, though, because I'll play a forest and a wall of roots. 
Well, I think I'd like to remand that all yes. of it. And then I'll play Birds of Paradise. And I'll pass the turn to you. I will untap and take my draw. I'll play an island. Yes. And pass the turn. I'll draw. Voice of Resurgence treated me really kindly. It's gone now, but yeah. he left me two gifts. It I, did. I'm gonna start off by playing a Wall of Roots. Yep. I'm gonna then tap my Birds of Paradise All for right. a white. Yep. And then rough up my Wall of Roots a little bit for a, a green. Sure. And play a Quasali Pride Mage. Sure. You seem very unafraid by my elemental being five fives now. No, who cares? You know. No biggie. Okay, well, speaking of five damage, I'm going to attack. I have this game. I have huge beaters. The only way I lose here is if Yamin cheeses in a combo win. So I don't care if I'm representing everything. I need insurance on insurance. Yeah, um, I'll have to flash in a snapcast page. You have no remand, you know that. Yeah, I, I do. There's none left. And I'll have to electrolyze the Quasali. It's a good target. That happens. Quasali Prime is dead. You draw a card. I do. These are now 4-4s. Four and actually, I'll just take those eight. Yeah. It's on the 10. The turn's yours. All right. Let's see what I can do with it. I'll enter. Take my draw. I'll play Soul for Faults. All right. That's the turn once again. Wow. Voice of Resurgence is gone. You're getting bold. Well, I'm not a fan of that. So I will hurt my wall roots a bit more. Tap my Reservoir Ticket and play another Voice of Resurgence. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't like the idea of that. It's on the stack. Yeah, it's on the stack. No, if, if it was in play, I, I'd be off much worse. Um, I'll play a Ooh. Pester Might. Yep. Does that resolve? It does. I will... I'm not playing blue. I know I'm bluffing it very well. Um, I'd like to tap that Razor Verge thicket. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah. It, it's tapped. Would, would you like to respond to my voice resurgence? I'll float a white. All right. Yeah, no. In that case, voice resolves. Okay. I have a white floating. You do. I'll go to attacks. Uh, I'll lose my white mana. Yeah, sure. I'll get in with these two elementals. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to die. <laughs> I'll block with the snap cancer. Yep. You'll take five? Yep. You go to five. And then I think during combat still, I need to play the Super <gasps> Exarch. Yeah. Um, you get a token though. I, I, I will, I will. Is, I, I don't, yeah, these are scary. Um, and I'd like to tap the birds. Oh, I could path here, but I'm not going to because he has two creatures. If I pass one of them and he has Splinter Twin, he just Splinter Twins and wins the game anyways. But if he doesn't have Splinter Twin, I want him to think I don't have a removal spell. I'll just keep him in my head. That happens, Yaman. You may enter your second main phase. I'll use my second main phase to pass the turn. That's a strong play. Mm -hmm. With great power, you know. Uh, I'll untap that. That's quite a good draw. It makes, all right. Uh, during my draw step. Okay. I'll play a Deceiver Exarch. During your draw step? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to tap your overgrown too. So if I full black for abrupt decay, wow, Yemen, you're showing off the size <laughs> of your brain today. Uh, yep. it's... I'll full black, yeah. it'll, it'll disappear. Yeah. It'll go away into my main phase. I'll play a land and I'll, I'll go for a splinter pen. I'll target my pet. No, that, that runs into Hornet's Sting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad because you played this beautifully, but uh, for those who've never seen this, can you... I will. Um, this Splinter Twin will attach to the Deceiver Exarch. I'll target that. Uh, and I'll tap the, the Exarch to create a copy of itself. So now you have three Exarchs. I do. I don't have copy tokens, I didn't bring oh. any. Ah, oh, too bad. So this is an Exarch. So this triggers, so it untaps this Exarch, mm -hmm. which taps to create another Exarch, which triggers to untap. And now that I have three Exarchs, that's the payoff. <laughs> yeah, great <laughs> that, that's value. Uh, what Go to combat. How many Exarchs would you like to make? Uh, about 85, I'd say. I think that's a good number. Yeah, so. And as they all have haste. Yeah, they all have haste, so they all come into the red. I'm dead. Next game. Game three. For game three, 
Carl will be on the play again, right? So I want to have a bit more cheap interaction available again. So I'm going to board back in those bolts uh, against some of my combo in late game. So on the play, my combo becomes a lot better because it's easier to get into. And also, it doesn't seem like Yamin kept in a lot of his removal spells. So there's, there's a consideration to bring the combo back in, but we're not going to because maybe we just didn't see all the flame slashes and lightning bolts. Let's get to the bottom of this. Can I go, be on the play again? No, 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 no I'll take the play this time. Oh. You whacked me in the face for 85, I get to have the play. Uh, you would if you had the opportunity to block some of those 85 creatures. This is a pod hand that does pod things. I have birthing pod and two creatures that are more than happy to be sacrificed to it. But most importantly, I have slaughter pack. So I can just curve out and do my game plan. And Yemen has two choices. Either you can try to react to it, or you can notice that I'm tap out and just try to combo off immediately. And Slaughter Pack is free, so it's just waiting to rain on that parade. This is a special hand, Carl, let me tell you. A special hand? Mine is special in the way that it's keepable. This hand has great potential, that's why I'm gonna keep it. It's got a lot of potent cards, it's got the combo, the Blood Moon to potentially lock Carl out, Electrolyze to take care of any mana dorks, but it's got one big weakness, which is the lack of early interaction. Like. I need something off the top. Yeah, I'll keep this as well. Okay, I'm gonna take two. Yep. You're winning. And play Noble Hierarch. Down to 17. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't fetch. Down to 18. <laughs> Yo, uh, I'll pass the turn to you. <laughs> I'll draw. Oof. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, actually, it's it's okay. I'll play a Scalding Tarn, and I will pass. Suspicious. Yeah, indeed. I'll draw. I'll hurt myself again. Yeah. Two. Boom. Overground tomb. Sixteen. And now you, your remands are nowhere near. No. <laughs> I'm gonna tap three for a kitchen things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Yeah. Up to 18. eighteen, you go. I'll pass the turn. I'll go down to nineteen, and get myself a steam vent. I'll untap my steam vent. Good. Um, take my draw. <laughs> this hand is, oh my, maybe I shouldn't have kept, <laughs> but it's all right. It'll work out. I'll play a soul for falls, and it's your turn. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'll declare attacks. Uh, yeah. I'll take advantage of the huge exalted trigger, <laughs> and I'll attack you <laughs> for four. Down to 15. I will float one green, pay three, and two life. An attempt to cast a birthing pod. Uh, Carl just being free to resolve and turn three birthing pod is very painful and it really shows why this hand was such a gamble. Yes, that resolves. That resolves? In that case, now that that's on the board, I will... I'm taking so much damage. I'll go down to 13. Yep. Uh, to fetch a temple garden. Untapped. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take more damage. Um, I'm going to use it to activate my birthing pod. Sure thing. Yes. 11. Sacrificing my Kitchen Finks. So you go back up to 13. Back up to 13. Wow. This, this turns a roller coaster to get dun, 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 a Linvala Keeper of Silence. Hmm. All right. Yikes. I'll pass the turn to you. I'm done. Yeah. I'll untap. I'll play a Scalding Tarn, which I'll crack down to 14. Getting an island. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think I have to do this now. Uh, I'll have to electrolyze this and this. Fair enough. Yeah. They're gone. It doesn't feel very effective when there's a pod on the board though, so... We'll see how that goes. Go ahead. My birds! They're all gone. I will draw. I mean, might as well start in you for, four, for three. Uh, yeah. No exalted. 11. Down to 11. I'll just run out. Good old trusty kitchen things. Ah, stop it. <laughs> and the turn is yours. No fourth land, Carl? There's there's a glimmer. A glimmer of hope, I tell you. I, I don't see any fourth lands on your side of the board either, Yavin. Well... You, you haven't had a turn yet. <laughs> I didn't. Now I'm going to play All a fourth right. land. Yeah, now the question is how do I turn this glimmer into full-on sunlight? And... Unfortunately, I'm not an expert at this, and that birthing pod on the board, <laughs> it's an eliminator of glimmers. Go ahead. On the top, upkeep. I'll have a Deceiver Exarch. Yes. That taps your pod. Whoa, big moves. <laughs> uh, sure. Pod is tapped. It's tapped. I'll drop. I'll declare attacks. Sure. 
I'll block. I could have a murderous subcat in hand. Uh, you could. You could also have the Ors of Pontiff or something. Yeah, but I don't think I can afford <laughs> to take six. <laughs> okay. uh, you'll take three. You go to eight. I go to eight. I don't have either of those. I'll play oh. a forest and a bird. That's of a fourth land and a bird. Yeah, spread in it out. <sighs> Remember how we talked about glimmers? <laughs> I'll pass the turn to you. I'll untap. Taking my draw. That's. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <sighs> It's not looking good, Carl. Oh, no, you haven't. I guess I'll have to pass. Wow. Would you like to tap down my pot again? I, I can't. Can I draw? Yes. Draw. I'll declare tax. Sure thing. Same. I'll, I'll block the, the kitchen. The huge? Okay. I'll block the kitchen. You'll things. take three. You go to five. Got a down to five. I can suck the kitchen things to get a ranger here and get two one drops to build up my board and then go up from there. But who am I kidding? If I sacrifice a two drop, I can get Pontiff, destroy his blocker, and swing in for lethal next time. My pot is untapped now, so I'll do the things. I'll pay two. I'll play a wall of roots. In response. Yes. To the wall of roots. Yeah. I think... It's like arena. Do you feel like arena? <laughs> oh yeah, when it's, when <laughs> it's, it's hovering? It's hovering. Mm. Uh, I think... I have to... I think I have to counter the wall. Wow. And bounce the birthing pod. That'll happen. Wall's countered. Birthing pod is back to my hand. Yeah. And then I'll just pay two life. Yep. And play the birthing pod again. Down to 13. 13. My turn? Yes. Uh, I'll untap. I'll times draw. are dire. They are. When you look up the definition of dire times and like, I know. <laughs> it's just a picture of you right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I will have to pass the turn again, Carl. Okay. I'll draw. So if this comes in, you take lethal. I do. Seems pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attempt to pack the negation. Your exarch. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought we'd come to this. <laughs> we finally meet. I guess... It happens? Oh, that does, this doesn't feel good. I will declare attacks. Hmm. Attack for six. Man, I really need some efficient attraction and all I've got is an electrolyzer. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'll pay three to deal two to that kitchen thing. That happens. I'll draw another card. You take three. Down to two and Down you go two. up to 15. Oh, if there's any red But you, you know what's up, right? I mean... I'll sack Kitchen Finks. Yeah, you do. And you guessed it. I'll get a murderous red, uh, red cap. Yeah. When it enters the battlefield, I'll deal two damage to a player or creature. Which one would you choose? There's a Birds of Paradise on board. There's a Lanvala. No, it's the Yamin Kals. Ah, all right. Yeah, good games. Good games. Carl, I'm kind of mad you won. But oh. at the same time, the matchup was just as fun as I expected a nostalgic matchup to be. Yeah, I did get to snipe you with a murderous red cap at the end. It wasn't out of a combo. <laughs> it was just shock. <laughs> yeah, more about a shock. <laughs> uh, deck building was so wild in that meta because apparently these were the only two decks that existed. There was like some affinity and maybe Jun sprinkled in. dogs. Yeah, but there was no other deck. So there's main board hate. Like main board spell scouts on both sides. <laughs> That's absurd. Anyways, if you guys like this, please, first, Comment below. But second, uh, if you're subscribed, we have a community tab. We asked you guys what you wanted to see, which deck you wanted us to play. That's how you kind of decided for the future videos. If you're not already subbed, if you sub, it costs you nothing, except you get to answer what we do in the future. Exactly. Please be vocal about what you like or dislike. We might just get around to do exactly that. But in the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.